Welcome to my niche top 20 list for summer 2013. These are my most worn fragrances this summer past. Um, I got a couple newbies, but I still also have my old favorites. We'll see if Mili Semi Perial hangs on to the number one spot this year. Am I usually in and out of the number one spot every year? I love that juice. It's in the top 20 this year. Creed has done well. They always usually do well in my spring and summer list. Um, I believe I got six Creeds in this top 20, and I got uh, three Jane Healy's. Uh, Healy's. Um, Healy kind of sneak in in these top 20 lists, kind of unnoticed. I, mean, I got three bottles on the brand, so I really like Healy's compositions in the summer. They're really transparent and easy to wear, especially in the hot, humid weather. Um, these things are, are beast mode, most of them. So let's get to it. Let's take a look at number 20. Um, this one is a new fragrance to my top 20 list. Um, this one from L'Artisan Parfumeur, and this guy is called Anana Fizz. Now, Anana Fizz is one of those fragrances that I liked wearing just casually. I got a huge bottle of it, so I decided I'm going to wear a lot of it. And it's really a nice, it has a beautiful top note. I mean, it kind of dies down after a while, so longevity and projection, you're probably looking at the wrong bottle. But uh, it's got like a fizzy, tart grapefruit pineapple uh, combo hitting you right off the start um, very much short-lived a nice uh, short boost uh, for casual use I like wearing it casually um, very bright uplifting any simple fragrance to wear in the summer I love just putting on five six sprays and not really care because I got 200 mils of it and uh, just wear it around the house or go outside for a barbecue it's gonna last uh, at least three to five hours but it, it's it's gonna die pretty quickly at number 19, it's a fragrance that has always done well in my summer lists. Not as well this year. I kind of wanted to test the grounds on other fragrances, and I'm kind of falling out of love with it. It's a community, um, I would say, it's probably hyped up a bit. Um, this is from, of course, Frappe, and this is Lumeniste. Um, this one gets tons of love on YouTube. For me, um, it's having a hard time staying in my top 20 list. Um, I really like the composition. You know, it's got... It's got a bright citrusy like start. It's got that boozy background that hits you right off the bat, kind of like a gin boozy background. Um, it's got some juniper berries. Um, really a signature scent type of fragrance. I really felt like Lumen Ist is one of those that uh, easy to wear, um, daily wear scent. I could probably wear it at night also, so a good signature scent. Um, but lately it's just been falling out of love with me. At number 19, it's almost out of my top 20 list. But still a good one at number 19. Now number 18. It's a newbie from the House of Creed. Um, I just recently purchased this fragrance. It's uh, finally, um, I got it. And this is Neroli Sauvage. I'm really um, under the radar as far as Creed's go. Um, everybody's looking at the big boys. Look at Neroli Sauvage, really uh, excellent stuff at number 18. Now very fresh, transparent, juicy lemon-like uh, combo. This, some grapefruit. Neroli, of course, um, very simple composition from Creed. Um, I really liked it. It was giving me, in the hot, humid weather, it was giving me a good six hours. So surprising? Yeah, it surprised me. It did really, really well on my skin. At number 18, um, I can't wait to delve more and more into this juice. I know summer's over, but uh, next summer, I'm going to grab my Neroli Savage and see what it gives me. A really excellent juice under the radar. At number 17, also a new fragrance to my top 20 list. This is from the house of... Profumi Del Forte. Um, this one is called Terencio. And this fragrance right here, um, very unique. Um, you're, this is probably the one that's very much under the radar as far as all these fragrances go. Probably a lot of people won't know this one. Um, very fresh, vegetal, um, very greenish. Um, and it's got like an aquatic tinge to it. It's very watery like. Um, I believe it's got basil in it. Um, it it kind of gives you that green uh, feel to it, but really that aquatic tint uh, keeps it watery. And I really, really enjoyed this one this summer. I was actually grabbing onto that one um, because it was doing so well on my skin every time I was wearing it. Um, longevity projection's really, really good. Like surprising, like eight hours and keeps going. Um, this one really, really good. At number 16 is from the house of Zerjoff. This is a newbie also. Um, this is his first time on a summer list just because I bought it this year. Um, this is, of course, Neo. Uh, Neo, good solid fragrance. Couldn't crack the top 10 this year. Usually Zerjoff's uh, Blow Me Away. This one 
good, great, I don't know about great, good. Neroli, bergamot, very fresh, um, natural citrus in here. Like smelling the strip right here. Um, really, really excellent juice. Um, definitely top 20 worthy, um, but really, really a good juice from Zerzhov. I have better juices from Zerzhov to for the summer, you'll see in this list. But this one, again, probably top five as far as Zerzhov's in the summer. This one's really, really good. I enjoyed wearing Neo uh, for the little bit I had it this year for the summer. At number 15, we got another Creed, a Creed that probably make uh, some people's number one. Um, for me, I'm lukewarm on this scent, and this is, of course, Aventus. I believe it was in the, my top 10 last year in the summer. Dropping down, I'm not grabbing it as much as I used to. I got a lot of other Creeds that I actually wear in the summer than this guy, and Aventus. And Aventus, the one thing that I gotta give it is longevity and projection on my skin. This thing is uh, doing its thing. Um, really, um, wow. Now the pineapple, we got the apple. The apple's really good in my batch, I guess. Um, people talk about variations. Um, for me, this is pineapple, apple, a little bit of birch. You're gonna get that ashy-like feel in my fragrance. Um, I wear this mostly in the summer nights. I don't usually grab it for the summer days. Um, but at night, it's going to last and last for like uh, barbecues or, or going out and hanging out for drinks outside on the patio. Um, this one's excellent for an outdoor uh, activity as far as summers go. I, I wore it quite a bit, and that's why it's in my top 20 at number 15. At number 14, we're going to take a look at the first Healy, uh, one of the three that made it. Um, this one, of course, uh, is uh, oranges and lemons say the bells of St. Clements. Um, that's a mouthful. This guy right here. Um, not much talk about this fragrance. This is excellent fragrance. If you're looking for a solid citrus, this is where to go. Check it out. Um, as far as the name goes, lemons and oranges, yeah. Wow. Um, natural, fresh. Um, you know, it's great in the high heat, but it's also good in the cooler, uh, cooler days too. So it's one of those citruses. If you're looking for a citrus-based scent, um, you want it, uh, you know, really natural, fresh smelling. You can wear it when it's a little cooler or really hot. It's not going to choke people out. Um, this one is excellent for it. A longevity and projection. As far as Healy's go, they're okay um, for this one, of course. Um, the other two that I have in this list are Beast Mode, but uh, this one, um, really, really good as far as summer goes. Um, I enjoy that one. It's always in my list, I think, ever since I bought it. Um, in the summers, I love wearing that one. Number 14. 13, this guy slipped. Um, not because it's not a great juice. I love wearing this. I love grabbing on and, and wearing this stuff in the summer, especially in those hot, humid days. Um, this is a, one of those fragrances in the super hot climate. It's going to go beast. And not only that, but it's unique. And this is from Zizik. And this is Philosikos, the Eau de Toilette. And this stuff is one of the best things on the market today. Um, maybe even the best. Watery, leafy, transparent, um, absolutely beautiful. It does great on my skin. Some people it doesn't, so you got a sample. But for me, oh, this stuff in the hot days, during the day, daily wear, Filo Sikos is one of my go-to bottles at number 13. 12 is from the house of Le Labo. I believe it's their only one on this list. Yes, and this is, of course, uh, I purchased this, what, two years ago, a year ago? This is Bergamot 22. Now, Bergamot 22, sparkling Bergamot. Um, and it's got like a musky backbone that Le Labo usually has on these fragrances. Yeah, um, really a nice scent. A solid scent from Le Labo. I really like this one. At number 12, at number 11, we're going back to another Bergamot. And this is from the different company. This is Jean-Claude Elena's. This is a new scent to me. I just purchased this bottle this year. Um, not new, well new. The bottle's new, the scent's not. Um, I knew about this fragrance for a while. I really wanted it. And this one, oh, juicy bergamot. Um, transparent to me. Some guys say there's some thickness to it. Um, in my bottle, it's crisp, transparent, juicy, clean. Um, what I'm looking for for these type of fragrances. This one just hits it right on the head. This one in the Le Labo, as far as bergamots go, these two are excellent at number 11 and 12. Now let's take a look at my top 10. At number 10, we're going back to the house of James Healy. Mr. Healy does great juice for the summer and spring. Don't sleep on him. At number 10, we got Sel Marin, probably 
the best. Um, you know what? It is the best. For me, it is. Um, this is Sel Marin from James Healy, the best salty aquatic fragrance on the market today. Um, yeah, the quality is up there. Outstanding juice. Um, this can be number one on anybody's list. And um, that, oh man, this is good stuff. Um, if you like aquatic fragrances, Sel Marin is where to go. Now, number nine, uh, we're going back to, of course, the House of Creed. Um, this one didn't do so well this year. I think it was top five last year in the summer list. I'm pretty sure it did actually really well last year in the spring and summer list. At number nine, um, this is Jardin d'Amalfi. Um, this stuff's really good. Uh, of course, at number nine, very fruity. Sparkling citrus, uh, very refreshing, transparent. Um, has some depth to it a little bit, um, but really a really good intro. I like the introduction to Jardin de Malfi. It always, uh, once I want to spray this stuff and I spray that first spray and I'm just like, this stuff's outstanding. I'm um, really good for a summer day. I'm um, really one of those fruity fragrances that I absolutely love. Jardin de Malfi, good stuff. At number eight, we're going, we're sticking with Creed. Uh, we're going with the Black Bottle this year. At number eight, Green Irish Tweed. Um, he kind of lost out this year in the spring list, lost his number one spot, but he's still uh, running smooth in the summer list. I'm still reaching out for this stuff. Beautiful lush greenness of uh, Green Irish Tweed, a beautiful scent. Um, I love wearing this during the day and at night. Um, sometimes, you know, I reach out for Green Irish Tweed ahead of Aventus every single time. Um, I just wear Ventus sometimes, but uh, Green Irish Tweed beats it out usually for summer nights. I just love the lushness of it. I get compliments galore with it. I love that stuff. At number eight. At number seven, uh, again from Mr. James Healy, his last bottle in this top 20 list. Doing good as usual, Mr. Montfreich, the mint-based fragrance. Have you smelt this already? <laughs> This is a oh, beautiful uh, composition by James Healy. Now this stuff, the hotter it is, the more humid it is, this stuff lasts. Now, yeah, projection-wise, eh, but longevity-wise, project, uh, longevity really good stuff. Yeah, simple. Um, simple uh, sometimes is great. Um, High-quality stuff in this stuff. Oh, beautiful, beautiful mint. It just pops in this fragrance. Um, great in the high heat. Um, it's got that uh, uh, beautiful T note in the middle. A very, very good uh, composition by Mr. Healy. One of his best, uh, for sure. It's top five for James Healy, for sure, Mount Fresh at number seven. Now, number six is from the House of Zerjoff. I believe this is their last bottle in this top 20. Yes, it is. It's their cheapest fragrance, I believe. I might be wrong, uh, but one of their best, 1861. And this stuff, one of the best citruses on the market today. Let's remind me of how good this stuff is. Oh yeah, the citrus, the mint, the lime. Um, juicy, good blend. Uh, this is what Zerzhov quality is. Um, in, in some of their fragrances, it's kind of boring. And you know, you smelt it before. 1861, every time I smell it, it's, it's just that sparkling like... It's just totally different from anything that's on the market today. Really, really great stuff at 1861 at number six. Let's go to number five, top five, dead or alive. Number five is from Armani Privé line. Yes, this guy is probably the surprise of the, the list here at number five this high. Usually Armani Privé doesn't do that well. <laughs> this is Figuier Eden. Um, it made last year's list, I believe, in the top 10. No, just not this high. Um, Wow, uh, the, the fig and I believe there's iris in here. What a combo, uh, really a great combo. And I, you know, you can dress this up, dress this down. Um, I wear this at night during the day, um, really excellent. And this summer it just clicked with me with Figui Den, excellent juice from Armani Privé. Um, really solid stuff at number five. At number four, it's a mainstay in this top five list. Is from Frédéric Mal, and this is, of course, the Jean-Claude Delena Bigarade Concentré. This one, one, if not, I'll say this is the best citrus on the market today. This stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, 
This is great in the hot, humid days. Um, this stuff is just absolutely gorgeous, and it lasts on my skin. I know a lot of people have problems, so you gotta sample first, but for me, this stuff, it just balls out, it goes. And by being at Concentre, I'm never disappointed wearing this juice. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, the authenticity of the juice in this is outstanding. At number four. At number three, again, another mainstay from the House of Creed. This guy, um, I think, just stays at number three every year. I think it was number three last year and the year before that. This is, of course, Virgin Island Water, the Pina Colada of fragrances. I'm going to smell the strip. I don't care. I know what this smells like, but bring me back to the island, baby. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> number three, a gorgeous juice. I always reach out for this stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm halfway through my bottle already. I love it. At number two, it is from Creed. Mr. I lost number one again this year. This is Minisim Imperial. And oh, this juice is oh so gorgeous also. Um, people talk about batch variations with Creed and stuff like that. I, I guess I got a good batch. This stuff is dress up, dress down, um, signature scent worthy. I wear this, you can wear it at night for the clubs. You can wear it staying in, going out for a walk. Oh, beautiful stuff. At number two, um, you know, these two, Mini Semi Pedal, Virgin Island Water, usually if it's a hot day and I want a Creed, those are the two bottles I'm looking at. Everything else is in the background. I don't care about any other bottles except for these two for the summer. Um, that includes Aventus, you Aventus fanboys. Yes, <laughs> Bashing Aventus in this list. Now, number one. A surprise, Mr. I've never been number one ever on my list. Well, it's going to be number one this year. This is from the House of Byredo. This thing last year did well on my list. I don't know if it was top five. It might have been top five. It was in the top ten for sure. I need to check. But either way, this is the juice that brought me to the House of Byredo. This was the one that opened my eyes like crazy. When I first smelt this, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I usually don't swear on my fragrance reviews, but uh, this one, Pulp. <laughs> pulp is outstanding. Now, ever since I got this bottle, I knew slowly it was going to have a number one somewhere on my list at some time. Today's the day. Pulp does it. This stuff is, I've said it before, I think I said it in last year's list, it's a projection bomb. I've never had a fruity scent like this have balls like this. <laughs> this is outstanding. And the thing is, I can wear this year round. Um, this can be a signature scent for someone. It's one of those fruity scents that I'm like, I can wear this. I love wearing this in the fall. I love wearing it in the spring. I can wear it in, in the middle of winter if I want to. Um, it's not going to go away. Um, but it also excels in the high heat. As you can see, it's number one. It excels in the high heat. It excels also in the cooler months. Projection bomb, longevity bomb. Fruity, sour, <laughs> figs, black in it. Oh, um, there's nothing like this in the fragrance game right now. Um, it's smashing the crap out of everything else that's trying to be like So there you have it. Late as usual, my top 20 <laughs> seasonal video, of course, this time for summer 2013. Hopefully you enjoyed it. The surprise pulp at number one. And of course, a whole bunch of newcomers and a bunch of old favorites always staying in the, in the top 20. Um, definitely uh, check out this list next year. And uh, for all of you that are looking for a fall top 20 list for me, from me, um, hopefully I'm going to get one this month. I'm going to try my best <laughs> to shoot a fall video, uh, top 20 designer or and niche uh, for 2013. Hopefully in 2013 I'm going to shoot it. So uh, keep it tuned in. Thanks for watching guys. Love it. Comment below. Let me know what you think of my list. What you think about uh, certain ones. Which uh, number you liked. And uh, which ones that you enjoyed during the summer as far as niche goes. Thanks.